I'm going to go over ORP, Oxygen Reduction Potential, and how it relates to the quality of your swimming pool water. Some pools already have an OR meter built into the automation. If you don't have one built in, you can get a handheld ORP reader like this one here by Hawk. The ORP uses electrodes or electrical probes to determine the water's ability to oxidize or reduce. Basically what that means is that the ORP measures how effective the sanitizer in the pool is. So the ORP number is expressed in millivolts. So a safe ORP number in a pool would be anywhere from 650 to 750. If it's lower than that, then the effective kill factor of the sanitizer in your pool is going to be less effective. Here's one study where it shows the ORP reading anywhere below 650 slows down the kill factor of E. coli bacteria. If it's below 500, it could take up two hours to kill the bacteria. This study here shows the kill rate of chlorine based on the ORP level. The higher the ORP level, the faster the chlorine will kill the pathogen. So the fast DPT test kit will show you the free chlorine level in your pool. The only thing I won't show you is how effective the sanitizer is actually in your pool. And same with the OTO test kit. It'll show you the free chlorine, but it won't show you the effectiveness of the chlorine in your pool. So you can pick up an ORP tester like this Hawk brand. I like the Pocket Pro Plus tester. It's got a backlit screen and the ORP reading is very stable and accurate. It's important to note that the ORP does not take the place of doing a free chlorine test. They measure for different things in your pool. So if you test the water and the free chlorine is high and the pH is in range, the ORP reading should reflect that the sanitizer is working effectively in the pool. If you test the pool, it has low chlorine levels. The ORP reading will also be low. pH is also a factor in the ORP reading. If the pH is really high, it will make the chlorine less effective in the water. That will be reflected in the ORP reading. So the lower the pH, the more effective the chlorine is in the pool, and that will also be reflected with the ORP reading. But since the pH is a major factor in the ORP reading, you want to do a pH test whenever you test the ORP in the water. One thing that will affect the ORP reading is high cyanuric acid levels in your pool or conditioner levels. But if your cyanuric acid levels are high in your pool, the ORP reading will reflect that. The three things that will affect the ORP reading are the free chlorine level in your pool, the pH, and the conditioner level in your pool. Other factors would be total dissolved solids, the water temperature, and a salt water generator. If you have a salt water generator, it may make the ORP number appear lower because of the hydrogen in the water. The main factor of the ORP reading though is pH and the free chlorine level. Basically what you're looking in the ORP is for a range and not an exact number. So the ORP tester is a great way to see if the sanitizer is being effective in the pool and to find out why it's not working correctly. That's a quick look at ORP. It's the only reliable way to test to see if your sanitizer is effective in your pool.